everybody and welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin. Today's question is, what do the pedals on an upright piano do? You might think, why upright piano? Are they really different from grand pianos? The answer is yes. In fact, there are no upright pianos I'm aware of where all three pedals do the same thing that they do on a fine grand piano. So let's start with the sustain or damper pedal, the one on the right, the one you use all the time. That does function exactly the same way on upright pianos as they do on grand pianos, releasing all the dampers so the tone lives on even when you release your fingers. Now, on a grand piano, the middle pedal is a selective hold pedal, referred to as the sustenuto pedal. It only holds notes that you depress before pressing the pedal. You play some notes while they're still holding, depress the middle pedal, typically with your left foot, leaving your right foot available for the damper pedal. On upright pianos, they do various things, and rarely do they actually perform the sustenuto function that I just described. On older upright pianos, many of the uprights would be bass sustain pianos. That is to say, it does just what the sustain pedal does, except only on the lower notes. The reason for that? Most pieces of music that utilize the middle pedal, it's low notes you're holding while playing other notes in the upper register. So it's a, it can function pretty well for a lot of music. Not quite the same as a sustenuto, but close. The trend has been, though, in recent years to make the middle pedal a practice pedal that places felt between the hammers and the strings for quiet practice. Now, the pedal all the way on the left on a grand piano gives you a tonal change. It shifts the whole action to the side. You can see the keys move when you press the left pedal, the soft pedal it's sometimes called. Una corda is the correct name, meaning one string, because originally pianos only had two strings for each note, and by shifting the action, the hammers only hit one of the strings, giving you a more delicate tone. On modern pianos, there are three strings for each note through most of the piano, and shifting the hammers not only doesn't hit the strings squarely, but the grooved hammers that have gotten hardened over time are now not hitting squarely, so you get the softer felt for a different tone. Now, on upright pianos, what the heck does the left pedal do? Well, it does different things, but typically, it changes the touch of the piano. By making the hammers closer to the strings, it makes it more difficult to get momentum. Just like if you were going to, oh, I hate to say punch someone, but if you punch somebody and you were just close to them, it would be very hard to get much power. Whereas if you punch, oh, let's say a wall or a punching bag, I don't want to get violent here, you can get much more power by having more momentum. It's the same thing of the hammers of a piano. If they are very close to the keys, to the strings, it's difficult to play loud. So the left pedal is considered a soft pedal on an upright, but it doesn't change the tone, it changes the touch. Now here's a funny thing. Because it shifts the hammer slightly closer, if you hit it very quickly, sometimes the hammers will kind of hit the strings and you'll get sound. On some older pianos, as a matter of fact, if you push the sustain pedal with your right foot and then kind of pump the left pedal, you can get these crazy sounds out of your piano. It's not meant to function that way, but you can try this for fun at home. So I hope this has solved the mystery of the pedals on upright pianos. Again, Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com, your online piano store.